excellent foothills of the Himalayas. You would see animals that have adapted to live in this rocky, hilly terrain, like the Himalayan top on the left. The sure-footed top has special moves for gripping smooth and slippery rocks. Compare its thick, curved horns with the wavy horns on the animal to the right of the track. This is the Baral, or Himalayan blue sheep. The male has a blue gray coat that provides camouflage on the bare rock hills. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a gentle reminder, please do not use flash photography on the tram right. Thank you very much. Next on the right, we'll pass the king of all mountain goats. A dog male horse have gorgeous spiral-shaped horns. Sadly, that beauty comes with a price. Macors are endangered because poachers kill so many for the ornamental value of their horns and for meat. Finally, From the Rocky Hills, we've gone to the marshlands. Here, you'll see a flock of orange-pink greater flamingos, the tallest flamingo species. They can grow to a height of five feet or one and a half meters. Have you wondered why flamingos balance on one leg? It's because they spend hours in the water, and lifting one leg helps to conserve body heat. You might not see the Asian small clawed otters on the left, but you will definitely smell them. They're related to skunks and other animals that give off strong scents to mark their territory. Otters are agile swimmers with webbed toes and streamlined bodies. You'll often find them hunting fish and small shellfish, or just splashing around and having fun. We are about to enter our first free-range environment. As a reminder, the animals are not tame. Please don't touch them. At dusk, the barasinga or swamp deer come out to graze. What a thrill to see them roaming peacefully here at night safari. And how sad that their natural habitat in the swamplands is threatened. Clearing and draining more land could drive the Barasinga to extinction. Many people wonder what they can do to help. You've already done something important. Visiting Night Safari supports the wildlife conservation work they perform worldwide. Alright, ladies and gentlemen in the third carriage, please stop using flash photography on the animals. Thank you very much. In a moment, we'll pass some animals that look like dogs with striped fur. They're striped hyenas, and they're more closely related to cats than dogs. Striped hyenas are also the only hyena that's native to Asia. Their hind legs are shorter than their front legs, so they walk oddly, but they can run for long distances. The crest of hair down their backs stands 
up when they feel threatened, making them look bigger and more ferocious. They're also not above playing dead to escape from danger. Hyenas come out at night to forage for animal carrion. Some people despise scavengers, but hyenas are intelligent, sociable animals that play a vital role in their ecosystem by keeping their environment clean. Only a few people on Earth have seen an Asian lion as close as we hope you will tonight. They are the rarest of the rare. In the next clearing, you might see a small pride of Asian lions feeding. Female lions in the wild do the hunting. Then they wait impatiently for leftovers while the male eats his food. If the pride has already eaten, they may be lounging or sleeping. Lions sleep up to 20 hours a day. Asian lions used to live all over India and the Middle East, but their natural habitat has disappeared. The few that remain in the wild today can be found in the wildlife preserve in the Gir Forest of India. At the most, there are only about 300 wild Asian lions left in the world. A few hundred more live in protected environments around the world, like this one. Night Safari is proud of its success in breeding Asian lions, a program that contributes to conserving this highly endangered species. We're approaching the East Lodge tram station, where you'll see the sloth bear on the other side of the road. This tram will not stop here, but we may pause while the tram ahead of us is stopped. For your safety, please do not disembark here. Thank you. As night falls on the Indian subcontinent, go into the forest and open your ears. You might hear a sloth bear looking for food. Sloth bears are noisy eaters that suck ants and termites out of insect mounds. Follow the sound and look for a bear with a shaggy black coat and a white U-shape on its chest. Sloth bears are not related to sloths. Europeans named this animal because it has long, curved claws and can hang upside down from branches like a tree slump. your left for a brief but magical view of the upper Salitar Reservoir. We're entering the next stage of our journey. Welcome to Wild Africa. The Salitar Horned Horns hasn't been seen in the wild since the year 2000. Zoos around the world have responded by creating breeding programs to save the oryxes and other threatened species from complete extinction. With further advances in conservation and research, someday we may see scimitar horned oryxes on the savannah again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Just a gentle reminder please stop using flash photography on the animals. Thank you very much. like to test your camera, please point them downwards. Thank you.
we see a group of hyenas known as a clan on a plateau to the right just ahead. These are spotted hyenas, the largest species of hyena. People call them laughing hyenas because when they're agitated, their calls sound like human laughter. Spotted hyenas scavenge for food, but they're also skilled hunters with superior night vision and hearing. They can run fast for long distances, so antelopes and other prey have to be in peak condition to escape. Hyenas on the hunt work together to isolate one slow runner from the herd, often one that's old and sick. They have highly acidic digestive fluids, which enable them to eat the whole animal, horns, bones, teeth, and all. Be quiet as we pass the Nialis on the left. These shy, spiral-horned antelopes only come out at night. The male Niala has a dark coat and long horns that curve inward, while the females and young have rusty brown fur with white stripes. on the left, you'll see African Cape buffaloes grazing in the cool night air. These massive animals have intense loyalty to the herd. Working together, they can kill a lion. When it's time to find more grass to eat, each buffalo faces in the direction it wants to go. Whichever way the majority chooses, the rest of the herd will follow. on the left may look funny and cute from a distance, but they're extremely dangerous. With teeth, they can bite a boat in half. Hippos spend hours underwater to keep their skin moist. Their eyes, ears, and nostrils are on top of their heads, so they can see, hear, and breathe with most of their bodies submerged. safari tour is complete without a walk through the forest on the well-marked easy-to-follow trails. At the end of your tram ride, you'll find the wallaby and fishing cat trails and several others that lead to even more intimate views of magnificent animals like the pangolin and fishing cat and more. The Red River Hogs on our left are the most handsome species of wild pig with reddish fur, black legs, a white stripe down their backs, and tufts of hair at the ends of their long ears. They're also first-rate swimmers, which is one reason they live near rivers, lakes, and marshes in the rainforests and savannas of Western and Central Africa. We'll pass a clearing on the right. There you may see a pair of rare white lions from South Africa. They're named Sipo and Mandisa, the Swahili words for gift, 
and sweet. White lions aren't pure white, but rather light yellow. They're not albinos, but leucistic, a genetic condition that reduces the pigmentation of their skin. The lion is the national animal of Singapore. You will see images of lions everywhere, including a mer lion with a lion's head and the body of a fish. A legend tells of Prince Sung Nila Utama, who named this city Singapore, or Lion City, because he saw a lion when he first landed on the island. There's just one problem with that story. Lions aren't native to Singapore. True. Maybe the prince saw a strange unknown animal and assumed it was a lion. What he really saw remains a tantalizing mystery. This is me how night safari has changed over the years and how it stayed the same. Seeing animals in a natural rainforest is as exciting an adventure as ever. But today, the journey you're on is part of a larger mission. We cannot protect animals like the ones you're seeing unless we understand that the threats to wildlife also threaten humans. I've seen night safari become an international force for conservation. They conduct research and partner with universities, government bodies, conservation groups, and zoos worldwide to share their data. They're part of coordinated worldwide efforts to feed endangered species. Night safari raises the public's awareness of issues like habitat loss, environmental pollution, and poaching. This includes their campaign to stop the illegal trade of protected species for traditional medicines and meat. Night Safari upgrades all of their facilities continually to make them more environmentally friendly. Everything from energy efficient lighting to using the elephant's dung as a fertilizer for food. Night Safari began with a vision of opening a window to nature by allowing people a rare opportunity to enter the world of nocturnal animals in a tropical rainforest. This experience is a reminder that all of us, animals and humans, live in the same world, the world of nature. When we understand that, we will have a better appreciation of the urgent need to save wildlife. Southeast Asian native looks like a pig with an elephant's trunk, but it's a closer relative of rhinos and horses. The tapir's flexible trunk helps it to sniff out shoots and leaves and guides them into its mouth. Tapirs are solitary creatures that communicate by whistling. Their black bodies have a white saddle around the midsection. These markings don't just look fashionable. They act as camouflage in the shadows of the rainforest. Look on the right for a pack of red doves. They're also called Asian wild dogs and sometimes whistling hunters because they communicate using whistling sounds when they can't see each other. A dole pack can include up to 20 individuals in a tight-knit group with a strong hierarchy. The entire pack works cooperatively to hunt deer and wild wolf. Next to the doles lives a sounder or herd of bearded pigs. 
the bearded pig gets its name from the whiskers growing on the sides of its face and across the bridge of its nose. Both sexes have this beard, including piglets. These are the slimmest wild pigs, with long, tapered noses that they use to root for shoots and worms. Peer through the bushes ahead to your left. In the distance, you may see Asian elephants, an animal revered throughout Asia. Nevertheless, elephants are struggling to survive in the wild. Female elephants and their young live together in a herd led by the largest, oldest female called the matriarch. The herd in Night Safari includes Sri Nandong, who gave birth to Neha, a baby female, in May 2016. The first elephant born in Singapore in several years. make a surprisingly loud noise when they sense danger. I've seen wild sambar deer in India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and China. They once inhabited huge portions of Asia, but hunting and habitat destruction have reduced the population drastically. The Malayan tigers that once preyed on sambar deer began hunting cow and other livestock. This brought the tigers into closer contact with humans, who naturally took action to protect themselves. This is one of the reasons the Malayan tiger has become critically endangered. This sad storm demonstrates an important truth. Losing just one species has consequences that ripple through entire ecosystems. Of their size. An Indian rhinoceros can weigh 5,500 pounds, 
or 2,500 kilograms, more than an average automobile. Some people use powdered rhino horn as a traditional medicine to treat fever and headaches. The international trade in rhinoceros horns is illegal, but this hasn't stopped poachers. Today, fewer than 2,000 Indian rhinos survive in the wild. Their only hope lies in reducing the demand. If you know someone who takes powdered rhino horn, tell them that rhino horns are made of keratin, the same material as our hair and fingernails. Advise them to opt for alternatives, such as fever-reducing medicines available over the counter. Next on the left, you'll see hog deer. They got that then because of their hog-like behavior. For instance, they run with their heads down and duck under obstacles rapidly. Next on the left, you see hog deer. They got that name because of their hog-like behavior. For instance, they run with their heads down and duck under obstacles rather than jumping over them. Rhinos like the one on the right can jump surprisingly well. Despite their size, they're agile creatures who can run 30 miles or 48 kilometers an hour. We're entering another free-range habitat for Indian sambar deer. Wait a minute. We saw sambar deer a few minutes ago. Why does night safari have two habitats for the same species? Sambar deer usually form small herds with a single dominant male and his harem of females. Splitting the animals into smaller groups in different areas prevents overcrowding and stress. For nocturnal animals, night is the natural time to be awake and active. They occupy the same ecological niche as diurnal animals, but at different times, which reduces competition for resources. In your ears, you might hear an elephant trumpet, a wolf howl, rustling leaves, or flowing water. Night creatures have exceptionally keen senses to enable them to locate food, seek out prey or water, and to avoid predators at night. Some, such as tigers, leopards, and crook bats, have powerful eyesight and good night vision to locate their next meal. Many have very acute senses of hearing, smell, and touch. A good number of nocturnal animals have long whiskers that they use to feel their surroundings as they navigate. Indians call them cheetah, others call them axis deer or spotted deer. Whatever the name, they look elegant, with white spots covering their red brown fur. When axis deer sense danger, they warn the others by stamping their forefeet and making a high-pitched barking sound. recognize their keeper scent, the sound of their footsteps, or the jingle of their keychains. They come to trust these humans and see them as providers of food and security. This type of relationship between animals and humans is essential to providing the highest level of animal care. The keeper 
shelters spend countless hours with the animals in their care. They become an essential part of their lives, often from the day they're born. Night safari keepers realize that they're privileged to have this kind of connection with animals. It deepens their commitment to provide the best care for their charges in every way possible. Explore the countryside of Myanmar, you might catch sight of these striking fan or golden deer. Their rough looking coats change color from reddish brown in summer to dark brown in winter. Male famines shed their antlers in summer and grow a new set every year. The antlers reach full size and look their most impressive during the spring mating season. Hunters covet these bow shaped antlers, which sweep back and upward in a graceful curve. Massive is the only word for the Indian gore or salada. With huge horns and muscular bodies, these wild cattle can easily weigh a ton or more. Males are larger with a prominent ridge or hump on their back. Few predators except a tiger dare to attack a full-grown gore, and gores have been known to kill tigers in self-defense. approaching a lovely waterfall, as there are two rare animals from the Malay Peninsula to Thailand. Just past the waterfall, look to the right of the tram. You might see an Asiatic black bear, which is indeed jet black, and sometimes hard to see at night. Asiatic black bears are also called black bears, because they have a crescent-shaped patch of whitish fur on their chest. They are seldom seen in the world because humans destroy their forest habitat and use their gallbladders and other body parts in traditional medicine. Across from the black bear, look for a Malayan tiger. It might be crouching in the grass with only the top of its head and heels showing. Tigers are the largest cats on earth. These matchless hunters have eyesight six times sharper than humans. They're also great swimmers. With no aversion to water, Tigers fear only one predator, humans. Some people still ingest their bones and other body parts as medicine. seen Malayan tigers, Asian elephants, even the Himalayan markoor in the wild. Tonight, I hope you've experienced the same sense of discovery I felt. You entered the world of nature. All of us inhabit that world, but humans often forget. Sometimes I wonder how many more generations will be able to see animals like the ones you've seen tonight, living in the wild. To find out how you can assist in wildlife conservation efforts, Please visit the Night Safari website. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Our journey is at an end. Please wait until the tram comes to a complete stop, then exit the vehicle. Remember to take all your belongings with you. Good night, and thank you for visiting the Night Safari.